One of the best examples of a company moving from a traditional model to a digital business model is uh, this Norwegian media house called the Shipstead Media Group. It's uh, a company that is more than 100 years old, but today it's uh, the most successful company, traditional media company in the world in terms of transitioning to digital. It has more than 70% of its revenues coming from digital avenues. And uh, they've been very successful because they've chosen to play on classifieds and focused on user-centered classifieds-based business models rather than the traditional content-based business models that they were working on. An investment towards building a digital business can be quite high, but what's important is to understand that this is not a shift where you invest a lot of money and then hope for the returns to happen. You instead try to move in this direction in a more iterative model, where you launch a small experiment first, you try to uh, validate your assumptions on the basis of that, and from there you move further on. What's important is that from the beginning, you need to know you need to have a clear strategy of what your new business model would look like and use that to define the assumptions that you're going to test with your initial experiment. And the main cost drivers when moving to digital business models is first and foremost, the investments that you make to internally integrate your company, have a common view of the customer, have a common data-based uh, relationship with the customer and that Internal integration is the, is the first and most significant investment that you make in this direction. Platform-based business models benefit from the fact that they bring together a network of producers and consumers and allow them to interact with each other. Think of how Amazon works in the US by bringing retailers uh, and, and merchants and connecting them with consumers. And if you take that same logic to a developing country like Serbia, there's uh, a lot of opportunity to create platforms which allow small businesses to connect with each other, small businesses to connect with consumers, and essentially use a platform-based model to create more efficient business markets where these businesses can transact with each other or with consumers. What is more important is that a platform-based model gathers a lot of data, and this data can be used to make the market more efficient, it can be used to help the government understand how to create better services and to regulate these markets better, and so from all these perspectives, I feel there's a lot of opportunity, especially for small, closed, uh, fairly limited developing economies like Serbia to scale faster with a platform-based business model. Thank you. Okay, great.